forth their agenda is because they're engaged, because they're acting upon their convictions. They're the ones who are out there yelling at the town halls. They're the ones who are jamming the phone lines. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who are constantly on message and not wavering from what it is their talking points are. However wrong and misunderstood they, no, they're not misunderstood, excuse me, however wrong, bigoted, and racist they may be, they're the ones who are consistently on message. The problem here is that we haven't been doing the same thing. We have our strong divas like Donna Brazil who are out there constantly on message. We've got to continue to do the same, but also press our members of Congress to support them, those who are trying to do the right thing. Because see, they don't hear enough from us. All they hear are the negatives. So then they, sh then they shrink back and don't want to continue because they're also fighting for their political future. So when it comes to education, the reason we can't get an education agenda moving through is because we have this log jam happening in the House and in the Senate. We can't get a good bill out that is going to help our children. That so-called No Child Left Behind Act that left every child behind, particularly children of color, we can't get any bill out because we, don't, we haven't been pressing to ensure that whatever bill comes out has the necessary accountability provisions that we need, that the federal government is going to be there to exercise oversight that we can have the civil rights protections for our children so that we don't, we don't have the continued disparities that take place in our public uh, schools. For example, the dropout rate is atrocious. We know that our children are being pushed out into um, these push-out factories because they're being declared uh, you know, either mentally unstable or they're being declared unable to learn. That's an easy out. But this is what's happening. And because we haven't been pressing, we now have pieces of legislation that are moving through that are claiming that we don't need the federal oversight of our public education system, that we don't need civil rights protections, that we don't need full accountability. That's what's happening. That's why we can't get a bill out, because we haven't been the ones who have been pressing to make sure that our children are the ones who need to be protected. Now let me move on, because apparently I have 30 seconds. So <laughs> now to this map of shame. This map, we've talked about the voter suppression. We've talked about, we've heard about these, this group called ALEC. And let me further put this in context. context. ALEC has been running rampant across this country, especially since the election of President Barack Obama. One of their sole missions is to put forth model legislation that can be enacted in a multitude of states 